Welcome to EdUtube. If you're preparing for your CS001 midterm exam at Virtual University, this mock exam is here to help you ace it. This video will cover 27 MCQs and 3 short subjective questions from modules 1 to 3, based on your handouts and exam syllabus. Here's how it works. I'll ask each question, give you time to think, and then reveal the correct answer with a brief explanation. By the end of this video, you'll feel confident and ready for your midterm. So, grab your notebook, and let's start. Section A. Objective Module 1. Introduction to Computers Q1. What is the main function of a computer? A. To cook food B. To process data C. To store books D. To produce electricity. The answer. B. To process data computers are designed to process input data into meaningful output. Q2. Which of the following is not a type of computer? A. Supercomputer B. Mainframe C. Calculator D. Laptop. Answer. C. Calculator A calculator is a specialized device, not a general purpose computer. Q3. The CPU is also called the A. Brain of the computer B. Heart of the computer C. Input device D. Memory storage Answer. A. Brain of the computer The CPU processes all the instructions and calculations. Q4. Which of the following is an input device? A. Printer B. Keyboard C. Monitor D. Speaker answer b keyboard a keyboard allows users to input data into the computer q5 what does ram stand for a random access memory b read and move c random add memory d real active memory answer a random access memory ram is a temporary memory that stores data while the computer is running Q6. Which of the following is an example of system software? A. MS Word B. Adobe Photoshop C. Windows Operating System D. VLC Media Player Answer. C. Windows Operating System System software like Windows manages the computer's hardware and software. Q7. 1 kilobyte equals A. 500 bytes B, 1000 bytes C, 1024 bytes D, 2048 bytes C. Answer. C, 1024 bytes computers use binary systems, so 1 kilobyte equals 1024 bytes. Q8. Which of the following is an output device? A. Scanner B, Printer C, Mouse D, Joystick Answer B. Printer A printer produces processed data in printed form. Q9. ROM is known as A. Volatile memory B. Temporary memory C. Permanent memory D. Virtual memory B. Answer C. Permanent Memory ROM stores essential system instructions permanently. Module 2. Using the computer and managing files Q10. What does the desktop environment represent? A. The first screen after logging in B. The hardware of the computer C. A folder inside the computer D. An operating system. Answer. A. The first screen after logging in the desktop is the workspace where apps and files are displayed. Q11. How can you create a new folder in Windows? A. Right-click right-pointing arrow new right-pointing arrow folder B. Control plus CC. File right-pointing arrow save as D. Insert right-pointing arrow new folder. Answer. A. 
Right click right pointing arrow new right pointing arrow folder this is the standard way to create folders in Windows. Q12. Which file format is used for Word documents? A. PDF B. Doc C. XLSXD. PNG. Answer. B. Doc. Doc is the extension for Microsoft Word documents. Q13. What is the purpose of a folder? A. To organize files B. To input information C. To delete files D. To increase computer speed. Answer. A. To organize files folders help categorize files for better organization. Q14. What is disk cleanup used for? A. To remove unnecessary files B. To recover deleted files C. To defragment the disk D. To install software. Our answer. A. To remove unnecessary files disk cleanup frees up disk space by deleting temporary files. Q15. Which icon represents deleted files? A. My computer B. Desktop C. Recycle bin D. File Explorer. Or answer. C. Recycle bin. The recycle bin temporarily stores deleted files. Module 3. Word processing. MS Word. Q19. How do you apply bold formatting in MS Word? A. Control plus BB. Control plus IC. Control plus UD, Control plus P. P answer. A. Control plus B, Control plus B is the shortcut for bold formatting. Q20. What does mail merge allow you to do? A. Combine documents B. Create personalized letters C. Export files to PDF D. Change page orientation. Answer. B. Create personalized letters mail merge generates personalized documents using a data source. Q21. How do you insert a table in MS Word? A. Home right pointing arrow table B. Insert right pointing arrow table C. File right pointing arrow table D. View right pointing arrow table. Answer. B. Insert right pointing arrow table use the insert tab to add tables to your document. Q22. How do you save a document as a PDF? A. File right pointing arrow save as right pointing arrow PDF B. Insert right pointing arrow export right pointing arrow PDF C. View right pointing arrow save as right pointing arrow PDF D. File right pointing arrow print right pointing arrow PDF answer a file right pointing arrow save as right pointing arrow pdf the save as option allows saving files in pdf format q23 what is the shortcut for undo in ms word a control plus zb control plus xc control plus cd control plus F a Control plus Z control plus Z undoes the last action. How are you doing so far? Let me know your score in the comments below. Hit like if you're finding this helpful. Let's move to the final section. Section B. Subjective, short questions, Q28. Define input, processing, output, and storage in computer terms. Answer. Input. Entering data via input devices, e.g., keyboard. Processing. Manipulating input data in the CPU. Output. Results displayed via output devices, e.g., monitor. Storage. Saving data for future use, e.g., hard drive. Q29. Explain mail merge and its steps in MS Word. Answer. Mail merge creates personalized documents using a template and data source. Steps. 
Create a template document. Connect to a data source, e.g., Excel. Insert merge fields, e.g., name. Preview and print the merged documents. Great job completing the mock exam. How many did you get right? Share your score in the comments and let me know which part was most helpful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more midterm prep content. Good luck with your exams. You've got this.